Alright guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be unboxing some new LED panels that I ordered, something that we can use here for the channel. Uh, but before we go over it, I'm going to go ahead and do an unboxing, show you what's inside the box, and then I'm going to give you my cons, my pros, and also I will recommend uh, to whom I recommend these light for. So let's go ahead and take a closer look, and here we go. Let's see if I can do some magic here. Let's see if it works. Here we go. On three, one, two and three and voila anyways right here we have our first panel it comes with two led panels and this is the first one so far i can tell you that it feels uh, really good it's metal um it has a little bit of plastic but so far this feels really sturdy which is good this is by fositin if i'm pronouncing that right this is a model l5000 rp and as you can see they're small uh, panel lights. So super excited about this. Now, what makes these panels special is that they are RGB. Plus you can also change the color temperature. So let's go ahead and move on. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unbox the box, see what's inside, check all the accessories. And from there we move on. But before we move on, we're going to go ahead and play the intro. Here we go. This is your first time watching one of my videos you're welcome here to the channel here what we do is we review action figures collectible toys and from time to time we do gadgets electronics and tutorials so if you're into that you might want to consider subscribing here to the channel and if you are liking this video if you can help me out by liking this video it helps a lot with the youtube algorithm thank you and don't forget to activate that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos I like that. We have two panels, two LED, RGB LED panels, and I love the size. Size is really compact. Here's the other one. Right here we have the AC power adapters, and we have a second AC power adapter, and it comes with the remote control. Now the cool thing about this lights is that you can actually control them with a nap as well. So you don't have to necessarily use a control, which is cool having this if you don't have your cell phone with you. And then we have the uh, fusers, oh, soft box. We got two soft box, and it comes with the manual as well for the soft box. And here's one. Let's see how big these are. All right. Oh, cool. They're compact. So we got two of these and yeah that's the second one right here all right and let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, tripods what do we have here we don't need this oh well interesting So we'll take a closer look at this in a minute. And again, it's the same thing here on that one. All right, guys, and now let's go ahead and take a closer look at these LCD panel lights. Uh, so far, first impressions, they, I like them. It feels actually solid. It's made, the body's made out of uh, metal. And on the sides, it's a little bit of plastic, but for the most part, it's made out of metal. And it feels really, really good. Uh, the cool thing about it is that it has an LCD screen on the back and two knobs where you can control your settings, the power button. And also right here you have the option if you have the MPF Sony batteries, you can actually use them. I have some of those, so I'm excited about that. And also you can actually connect this to your AC power adapter that's included. The batteries are not included, you have to buy those separate. But very affordable if you use my link i'm going to leave a link in the description it's from amazon if you want to use it great it actually helps me here so the other thing i want to point out that i'm really excited about these uh, panel lights is that other than being rgb which basically means you can change it to 360 degree on the uh, color the other thing is that you can control the uh, temperature uh, from 3200 kelvin all the way to 5600 kelvin uh, it comes with the uh, diffuser right here, this little panel. 
Uh, and as you saw early, it also comes with a soft box. This is really cool. Uh, and the best thing is the barn doors. So the fact that this one has them included, that's a two thumbs up. Very, very nice. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and turn it on, all right? So here we go. Let's go ahead and put the batteries first. All right, and on three, one, two, and three. Woohoo! All right, so here is our light. Wow, that's right. That's at 100%. Let's go ahead and lower that brightness. <clears throat> and I hope it's faster on the app because it's taking a little bit. All right, cool. So let me go ahead and show you a couple features that we have here on the back. Let me see if you can see that. So again, you have your uh, left knob and your right one right here on the left. I can control the uh, brightness of the lights and right here I can control the uh, temperature of the light which is really nice so again you can go all the way to I believe 5600 and all the way down to 3200 Kelvin not bad at all all right and when you change the settings you also what you do is you push the, the left knob right here and it changes to your setting uh, right here is a setting where you can actually change the uh, color of the light so right now it's on green if you want to change it to a different color you can actually change this right here let me show you right here uh, and right here you can change I, th I think this is the uh, saturation I believe you have to press here and you can get to that setting and this is where you can change the saturation on this one so you can actually get it really vivid and colorful or if you want you can change it a little bit more to I would say more pastel colors so let's go ahead and set that back to 100 because I like my colors to be bright and vivid all right and when you press that knob again it goes to your scene modes I believe it has eight mode uh, I'll let you read through that through their website. Uh, I don't think I'll be using those, but the cool thing about it, I believe with the app, you can actually save or manually adjust that. So you can change them to some different um, scenes if you want to. And the next one, it goes back to the first one. It also has on the app, the option where you can actually change it to uh, music mode. So if you wanna get fun, you wanna get creative, you can actually do that. So let's go ahead and test it out. Here we go. Let's see if we can do some magic. Magic again, here we go. And one, two, and three. All right guys, and right here I have my fuzzy tent set up. So right now I'm using one of the light as a key light, and then I'm using my second light. So what do you guys think? As you can see right here, my shadows, it, they're harsh. And that's because of the size of the light. The bigger the light, the uh, more uh, softer the shadows and shades and all that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I wanna do another test. I'm gonna go ahead and take this light and I'm gonna put it next to my other light and see if that helps a little bit here with the uh, YouTube channel. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Here we go, on three, one, two, and three. All right guys, and now I have my second setup. So I still have my first light as my key light, except I changed the temperature a little bit to 5,000 Kelvin. It was at 5600 Kelvin. And my second light, now I have it as a filling light. And this one, I have it at, I believe, 35% brightness and also the same temperature as this one, which is 5000 Kelvin. So, what do you guys think? It actually, it actually looks really good. Not bad at all. So, if you actually use two of these lights, you can actually get away with, you know, if you want to do YouTube videos or if you want to do a conference call. Or if you wanna do like a production, you know, it actually looks pretty good. So anyway, so now we're gonna do my third test and we're gonna use these two lights just to decorate my background. All right, so let's try it out. All right guys, and now I have my third set up. So I have my feeling light back. I have my Godox, which is my light that I normally use here for my videos on YouTube back here. And then I have my second panel LED light on the back to decorate my wall. So as you can see, I got something really cool going on right now. So now what I wanna do is I wanna show you with the app, the different settings and the different looks that you can achieve using these lights to decorate, which is really nice. So the name of the app is Smart Life, okay? And this is what it looks like. Once you download it, it'll give you the option right here on the top where you can add devices. When you read the instructions, it'll tell you that you have to hold one of the buttons, I think it's the right one, for about three or five seconds, and it'll activate the Bluetooth, all right? So just read the instructions. All right, let's see all the different looks that we can achieve. Here we go. All right, so this one, my left panel. All right, this is my left panel. And let's go ahead and change the color on that one. Let's maybe 
do like a red, yeah, orange, yeah. Alright guys, so what do you think? Not bad at all, right? Pretty cool stuff that you can do with these panel lights. So now we're gonna do one final test and that's gonna be product photography. All right, guys, and now let's go ahead and go over the cons and pros of this light kit. Uh, first, let's start with the cons. The first thing I noticed is that the uh, tripods are not the best quality. They do the job, but they wobble a little bit, especially once you set them a little bit higher, let's say three, four feet, that's when they wobble even more. Something to be a little concerned, especially if you're shooting outdoor at an event, okay? Uh, the second thing is, this is more of wishful thinking. I wish the uh, soft boxes uh, were bigger. Uh, I think this would have solved the problem of using two lights to illuminate yourself for a YouTube video or for blogging. I personally like bigger uh, diffuser or softbox because it makes gets rid of the shadows. Like in the video, you notice that I had to use the other light as my second light for a fill-in to make it look good. So a bigger uh, softbox would have been better, but it may not have fit in the uh, back. So, but again, this is more wishful thinking. The fact that it came with it, that's great. Uh, the other thing is uh, the brightness is not the worst and it's not the best. I think it's in the middle. I wish it was a little bit brighter. Other problem I had is with the app, you can download the uh, Smart Life app and you can download or connect them using the Blue Tech technology. Now, the one problem I had was grouping the lights and you want to group the lights if you want to be able to control them together, but it's not working with the app. So I don't know if that's an issue with the panels or with the app. I think it's more of the app it may require some kind of update in the future. So that's one thing that I didn't like. Now you can easily uh, kind of connect them together with the, uh, with the remote, but the remote's a little clumsy. Um, it, it, it works when it wants to, but most of the time when you're changing settings, it, it, it does it for one light, but it doesn't do it on the other light. Especially when they're grouped, you wanna be able to change the exact same uh, settings on both of the lights. So that's the other one. It's okay, but not the best remote control. The other one that is a big one is that you can't select the temperature on the app. It gives you the illustration, the picture, and you're kind of like guessing, but I wish it had the number so that way you can set the same temperature on both lights. Now, if you go back to the panel of these lights, you can change that to, to the right setting. But the whole purpose of having Bluetooth technology wireless is that you can do it with your phone or with your remote, but the remote doesn't give you an exact number either. So. That's the one thing. I think, again, this is something that can be fixed, maybe with an update with the app, and can have that fixed so that way you can have the same call temperature on both panels and control, control them as a group. The other thing is, is uh, they're advertising that you can sync this with your music. Now, the problem is, since it doesn't group with the app, you can only sync one light at a time. So, again, maybe with an update, they can fix that. All right, so now let's go over the pros. I think the, the whole kit, in one bag, I think that is great. Really, really good. The fact that you can carry this small bag, it's compact, uh, easy to carry, not heavy. But the fact that you have all the accessories together, I think is a plus. So good job, Fussy 10. All right, and the other thing I really like is the wireless capability. The fact that you can control it with the app. For the most part, I really like the app and I was able to do almost everything except the grouping in except the color temperature. But as far as playing with the color of the light, changing the brightness, uh, turning them off and on, it works really cool. The other thing I really like about this light is the metal body. They actually feel good, they feel solid and sturdy, which is really nice. So good job, Fossey 10. And last is the fact that you can use the MPF batteries. I have a few of these, and the cool thing about it is that it allows you to mount two. So if you're shooting outdoor, a special event, these are really nice. So 
really good job. All right, so to whom do I recommend these light to? I would probably recommend these light to uh, content creators, uh, YouTubers, uh, blogger. If you are an event videographer or a wedding videographer, I think these are great lights. The fact that they're small panels that you can carry with you, they're very versatile. The one thing that I will probably keep in mind if you are a wedding or event videographer is maybe replacing the tripod to something a little bit more sturdy and firm. Um, also, I will probably recommend this to uh, product photographers and toy photographers. Alright guys, and that is it for today. If you're interested in getting these lights, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliated link below. If you use that link, I get a little percentage that helps me out here with the channel, so I appreciate that. Uh, other than that, let me know in the comments what you think of these lights. Do you have any other better suggestion than this light panel kit? Uh, or are you considering getting one of these lights? Or if you have any specific questions about these lights, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, guys, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and don't forget to activate that notification bell. Alright guys, I will see you guys uh, next time. Take care guys, bye.